IPsec high availability over VPN connected networks. If you're running VPNs and have IPsec enabled over those VPNs, you may be aware that when you have a VPN router failure, that you lose the trusted status of that VPN connected network. Therefore, you can't do the typical hot standby router protocol in order to handle your failovers. You need a product from Cisco and a technology from Cisco called IPsec HA for high availability. IPsec high availability manages the relationship between your routers and maintains that trusted relationship of IPsec over the VPN. It does this with a couple of caveats. One, because when traditional IPsec fails, it has to revalidate every device that was connected via the new route, it uses cached IPsec headers in order to determine whether or not those are still trusted devices. As a result, there can be brief periods of time when not all of the devices on the other side are still available to that standby router because a recently connected device may not be populated in the cache. The availability is much higher than it would be without IPsec HA, but it's not a 100% uptime solution the way many of us might think of. This is, of course, the trade-off of using a virtual private network is that you can't really have a 100% uptime remote network just because of how they work. But IPsec HA definitely adds to the uptime and prevents the majority of failures and will prevent the failures of key components that are already always on. Servers, printers, file storage that are always there aren't likely to have been recently connected and therefore will be populated in the cache when the handoff goes across the hot standby router protocol failover in order to make sure that the standby router is able to validate all of the devices on the other end of that network. It takes some time to set up one of these networks. There are limits. You can only work in pairs of two, so you can't do a three device failover. Everything has to be a master-slave pairing. You can't have three routers with one hot standby. If you have three routers connected via VPN, you're going to need three hot standbys in order to take advantage of this. Um, the caveats that I said about if you crashed basically because a new device came online and that pushed you over or some error like that, that device won't already have been authenticated on the new network, so you may get small network timeouts or port negotiation issues for a brief period of time until that device is reconnected. Um, so yeah, it's a great technology. It solves a major problem of large networks that are connected over VPNs to other networks, uh, but it doesn't get you to 100% SLA, it just gets you much closer to that 100%. So a couple of nines of reliability, not a silver bullet to end all of your problems forever.